Evolution of Scorpion. Mortal Kombat The Journey Begins 1995. Scorpion is depicted as the guardian of Shang Tsung in this unofficial tie-in prequel to the live-action feature film. He and Sub-Zero are tasked by the sorcerer to defeat Earth's heroes at the tournament. Scorpion is promised to fulfill his revenge against Sub-Zero after they defeat the heroes, which they nearly succeed in, until Raiden intervenes and stops the fight. The look of Scorpion is based on the source material with a yellow and black ninja costume. Mortal Kombat 1995 Once again, Scorpion appears as Shang Tsung's servile guardian who is tasked with defeating Earth's heroes. During the tournament itself, Scorpion fights against Johnny Cage and showcases some of his signature moves such as the Spear Attack, which is heavily altered from the video games, and the Hellfire Fatality, which Johnny Cage blocks. Eventually, Scorpion loses the fight and is killed. The character is depicted in his traditional black and yellow ninja costume. Get over here! Mortal Kombat – Defenders of the Realm 1996 Scorpion is the villain of one of the episodes where he leads an invasion of undead skeleton warriors against the forces of Earthrealm. The younger version of Sub-Zero defeats Scorpion in a fight and he is later taken down completely by Liu Kang. Ah, the Ice Ninja coming. But you cannot keep me from my prize. The evilest of all the dead. Shang Tsung. Mortal Kombat Annihilation 1997 In the sequel to the 1995 film, Scorpion appears as the servant of Shao Kahn where he fights against the younger Sub-Zero and wins. Later in the film, Scorpion kidnaps Kitana on his master's orders. Once again, we can see Scorpion using his signature spear attack which is further modified into living metal entities shooting forth from his hand. Mortal Kombat Conquest 1998 Scorpion is portrayed as a resurrected warrior who builds an organization of assassins in the service of Shao Kahn, who is responsible for bringing him back. Most notably, Scorpion tasks his lover with killing Sub-Zero, which fails. As a result, Scorpion and Sub-Zero engage in multiple duels, all of which end in a stalemate. Once again, Scorpion's signature move is shown as shooting a snake-like creature from the palm of his hand instead of an actual spear and chain. You question me? Get them away from me before I rip out their throats. Robot Chicken 2005 In one episode, Joey from NSYNC is learning martial arts and fights against Scorpion, who promptly uses his iconic move on him and decapitates him. In another episode, Sub-Zero defeats Scorpion in a fight and the announcer tells them to kiss, which visibly confuses Sub-Zero. Scorpion returns for another segment where he and Sub-Zero have a slap fight after the announcer says, Mortal stop that. In yet another segment, Scorpion thinks he sees something inside Sub-Zero after an x-ray attack. The two decide to get to the bottom of the medical investigation, but by the time Scorpion sees what's really going on, it's too late for his icy competitor. Let me take another look. You I want to bite down on something. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything. Maybe the light might have hit it weird. Drawn Together 2005. In a cameo appearance, Scorpion showcases his special move, impaling one of the characters with his spear and says, get over here. As an additional bonus, he also performs Sub-Zero's spine rip fatality on the hapless victim. Mortal Kombat Rebirth 2010. Scorpion is the main character in this short film where he is being questioned by Jason Briggs regarding an illegal tournament hosted by Shang Tsung. Scorpion admits to joining the tournament in order to get a chance to fight against his nemesis Sub-Zero. The story ends with Hanzo Hasashi abandoning his identity and taking up the name Scorpion. Hanzo Hasashi is dead. My name is Scorpion. Mortal Kombat Legacy 2011 the continuation of the short film, Scorpion is a prominent character in this web series as well. We get to see the origin of the character, the transformation of Hanzo Hasashi from the leader of the clan Shirai Ryu to an undead specter hell-bent on revenge for the death of his family. The series also traces the rivalry between Scorpion and Sub-Zero. Eventually, Scorpion gets to have his revenge after he kills his archenemy in the tournament by performing Sub-Zero's own spine rip fatality on him. Do you forget your treachery so soon? Hanzo. Hanzo is no longer. I am Scorpion. 
Vengeance will be mine! Mortal Kombat Legends, Scorpion's Revenge, 2020. As the title suggests, Scorpion is the main protagonist in this animated film, which once again traces the origins of the deadly ninja assassin. Believing that Sub-Zero has killed his family, Hanzo Hasashi strikes a deal with the sorcerer Quan Chi and is resurrected as Scorpion. Siding with the heroes of Earthrealm, Scorpion takes part in the tournament and kills Sub-Zero, only later to find out that Quan Chi was responsible for everything. Needless to say, he doesn't wait long until he gets his revenge. Scorpion's physical appearance and fighting moves are all taken straight from the video games and are faithful to the source material. Tell me, Lin Kuei scum, where is Sub Zero? Mortal Kombat 2021. Scorpion returns in this live-action reboot film where we see a slightly altered origin story for the character. Hanzo Hasashi is turned from a family man into a spectral assassin who is after Sub-Zero for the death of his loved ones. The difference from the previous origin stories is that this time Sub-Zero is actually the one who kills Hanzo and his family. Scorpion, along with his young descendant, defeats Sub-Zero in a brutal fight, killing him with his iconic Hellfire fatality. Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realms 2021 once again, Scorpion plays a prominent role in this film where he is allied with the heroes of Earthrealm. At one point, being overwhelmed in combat with cybernetically enhanced assassins, Scorpion convinces Sub-Zero to put aside his differences and team up with him to stand a chance against the enemy. Scorpion also shows up during the final fight, aiding the heroes in defeating Shinnok and saving the world from annihilation. You killed my brother! I did, and I'm sorry. 